Good afternoon, everybody. Um, please excuse my voice. She forgot that part. <laughs> um, I'm currently busy with the book, so you'll understand what the story behind the voice. But anyway, let me get to the point. My name is Tepiso de Rato Posta. Um, it stands for promise and love. I believe that I'm the promise and the love of God. And that's why I have the opportunity to stand in front of you today and have survived cer certain things that you still need to find out in November. But anyway, I just wanted to share my secrets with you. I want to share firstly what I believe has actually gotten me this far. And um, I feel like maybe you can take something with you. The first thing that I think everybody should know here, what you've heard before, but I feel that I need to emphasize it, is the fact that you need to believe in yourself. The reason why I say that is because if you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect somebody else to believe in you, and you are your own product. So to gain the trust of your clients and to gain the trust of your friends, you need to understand what you're saying and who you truly are. Secondly, education. That is the second thing that my father taught me in my life and I always take it with me because he said to me, so if you don't have the right education, then you actually will, like you actually suffer, you won't be able to open certain doors for yourself. And once again, it boils down to trust. And that's the one thing that nobody can take away from you. If you die, you go with your, your education, no one can inherit it, and it will open doors for you. So you need to educate yourself and take your education seriously, not just in, in um, in your varsities, you must actually read new books, watch new movies, learn new things from your friends. Like we've been emphasizing that there's strengths and weaknesses in life. Be aware of your strengths, be aware of your weaknesses so that you can be able to enhance yourself to be a better individual tomorrow. And then fourthly, you need to work hard. But not just work hard, work hard and work smart. And in the crowd, does anybody know what SMART stands for in business ethic? Yes. Is someone over there? Can you please articulate it for us? Oh, that's correct. Thank you very much. Just all the chocolate there. <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay, specific and it's measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound goals. Why do I say you need to set those goals? So that you can not over promise things to yourself that you would wish to achieve and then under-deliver. Rather under-deliver in with regards to yourself or in, in an event or in your business goals and then over-deliver. Rather under-promise under thing and then to um, over-promise to yourself so that you don't get disappointed because once you're disappointed it's difficult for you to get up. And like Steve Harvey always says, I like to take the same to say in life it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. But most of your failures are part of the, the greatest um, uh, testimonies of your success. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite one, guys, in Pumalanga and in the province, I really try to give back to the community as much as possible. And therefore, I believe in number five, you need to give back. Why do I say you need to give back? Because we need to uplift more people. Not everybody's privileged enough to even be sitting in the chairs that you're sitting in today. And basically, if you want the community to believe in your business and to support your business, you need to show the community that you also care about them. So it's about uplifting our province, our, 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 our um, cities, and also uplifting people with skills in which they were not privileged enough to be equipped with. Number six, my favorite, favorite one. They're all my favorites, but anyway. Um, your attitude determines your altitude. Therefore, meaning that your attitude towards life, you've heard this again, um, that your attitude towards life will determine how far you'll go with regards to your goal, with regards to achieving your goals. Um, I sit in various boards and most of them male dominated boards, but the reason why I can stand here boldly and say, boldly and say in more than four boards I'm the youngest woman is because of my attitude. I don't get um, intimidated, in fact I get motivated by them undermining my age. I give my skills out and um, I do more than what is expected of me and that is why it is so easy to maintain the respect amongst my colleagues and friends and family. Number seven, um, you must continue learning. Continue learning. Um, people believe that, oh no, you're successful, you're a director, you're a manager, you've achieved your short-term goals but you forget that there's still long-term goals that you still need to achieve and therefore you need to still keep learning. Read new books that you wouldn't read like I said previously. And then um, number eight, 
Look after your health, like the star was saying earlier on, and David, that your health is important because whether you have goals and you, you're educated and all of that, your body will give up on you. I mean, ugh, two years ago I had a nervous breakdown because I was just overloading myself with so much work and I knew I was capable but I didn't plan properly and then I had a burnout and that was not good for the business because we, we planned two months in advance what we're going to be doing and then when it doesn't work out, it still has a bit of a fit. Like, you know what, you need to get back in the gym, you need to eat healthy, you need to give yourself time to sleep. I don't believe in sleeping more than four hours, but it's because I haven't given myself the time. But I'm starting to learn that about myself, that I need to rest as well. And then number nine, almost at the end, I've got ten points. Number nine, I think it's important that we all learn to respect each other. Whether it be from the helper to the person who cleans your toilet, to your friends with their opinions not all your opinions are doesn't mean all your opinions are relevant to different people you must understand that so i always say you always see a true leader based on how they treat their subordinates if you treat your subordinates ordinates with respect they will respect you and your goals and they will help you to achieve them because obviously we all like i said we all have weaknesses we all have strengths and we all need to help each other that's why when we collaborate Together, we can put such an amazing event together for all of us to be in one room together that we are today. And lastly, please, please look after your money when you do make it, you know, because I know there's people that we trust to work um, alongside us and all of those things, but I fell into that. I, I trusted a, a previous colleague of mine too much that I, I was comfortable with leaving him with with a certain amount of money sometimes and I just trust him too much and I've gone into a bit of a financial issue for like about two months. But it taught me a lot of lessons in life that I mean I also need to double check. You can't just hire somebody like I've got a financial manager, it's fine, everything's fine. You need to be hands on yourself as well. Whether you're busy or not, every two weeks, just double check and also make sure the people that you work with are trustworthy with regards to financial credibility and all of those things so that you have a safe environment to work in. Lastly, I just want to say like my primary business is fuel, so I always say that my life is fueled by passion. The passion that I have for the work that I do, which is mainly public relations, marketing and um, communi basically communications, is, the, is, that, is, what, is what keeps me going. I always say I'm fueled by passion and um, I believe that wisdom and education is key to success and I hope that you can take that with you. And lastly, I'd like to quote my favorite person and her name is Oprah. I have to quote her pride, it would be legal not to. Do not worry about the success, but work towards being significant and the success will naturally follow you. Remember, passion is what is the ultimate energy which will drive you towards achieving your successes. Thank you.